Hey there, Alley Cats. Welcome back to The Sims 4 Get Famous Regs to Witches Challenge. And, um, we, uh, we have a little bit of a situation here, I think. Um, this vampire has broken in. And, uh, we, we can't leave. It's preventing us from traveling or really doing anything. So I really, really, uh, I don't want to talk to him. But I need him to leave. Like, like right now. Like right now, right now. So, we'll see. <laughs> Can I just Death. ask him to leave? I really want him to leave. Come on, please leave. Please leave. Come on. No. No, no, no. No, I want you to go. I would really like you to go. Come on now. Why do you have to be here? I don't want you to be here. No, let's let's just let's just go back to sleep. Maybe he'll go away. Why can't you just tell someone to freaking leave? Uh, yes, I know. I know. Ask to leave. There we go. Ask to leave. Come on. Please leave. Please leave. Mab. Yeah, I Oh, I don't care if your feelings are hurt. I need you to leave. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. Freaking. What? Kind of, kind of worried me a bit. Cause I definitely, definitely do not want this sim to become a vampire. What? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. So she just passed right out. Um. Okay. That's that's. So that's that's a thing that can happen, I guess. Just randomly making people pass out around me. Okay, so I have an idea. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'll definitely try. There we go. I'm gonna purchase that, and then drink that. Cause this, I I don't really like that quirk. I'm not a I'm not a fan. So then after that, we will then. Go be nice here to this paparazzi person. Audition passed! That was an impressive audition, Aurelia, and we are not the only ones who thought so. The studio sent all the other potentials home after your audition. They didn't need to see anyone else. Bring that same confidence to the role. Okay, that is awesome. So we, ooh, we have a lot of prep tasks. We need to develop a friendship with our co-star, practice romantic scenes, and develop our charisma skill. Oh, by 9 a.m. on Friday. Well, at least we have plenty of time. We have lots and lots of time to do that. Um, let's go ahead and... Well, do I want to invite them here? I don't know if I want to invite them here, but we may as well invite over director and co-stars. All right, so we just made friends with our co-star. Now we need to practice our romance scenes. Might as well get paid to do that. And then this guy's our co-star, so I mean, it might as well. It might as well. Ooh, so this lady wants to take me out to dinner. Okay, let's see. Heard you got a promotion. Congrats. I think dinner at Shea Lama would be the perfect way to celebrate. Well, she is pretty hungry. And hopefully she pays, because uh, I don't know about that. I ain't gonna be paying for a huge dinner for multiple people. But, I mean, it could work. Maybe, if she's gonna pay. So let's go ahead and order. Okay, so, do we wanna get a drink? No, I don't think so. Let's get, actually, yeah. Let's get, um, let's get a Simsmapolitan. We'll do that. Okay, so we have our drink, and then for appetizer, let's do, ooh, savory bacon love petals? Mm. Let's do cured meat crisps on reclaimed forest wood. And then we also have to choose the food for our friend here. I'm just, I'm just gonna get her the cheap stuff, like this is super cheapy stuff. Just in case I end up having to pay for it. I hope I don't, Doba, but just in case. No. <laughs> Ooh, look at that! Oh, that looks so fancy. Hopefully we don't get food poisoning this time. 
That kind of just dawned on me. If we get food poisoning again, that might be a little bit of an issue. But hopefully we'll be okay this time. Ooh. Oh, apparently she doesn't like her food. Oh, that's okay. You must not have enough of a refined palate as us. Well, it looks like I have to pay. Which, I guess I shouldn't really be surprised, but... <laughs> That's kind of a bummer. But it's it wasn't too much. It was it was nice to go out and get a nice meal, I suppose. So let's go ahead and go back home. Keep our fingers crossed that we don't get food poisoning again. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. She just slipped in a mud puddle. Oh no! And she's about to go introduce herself to. Brittany Cho. Okay, this is not so good. Yeah, Ooh! She actually accepted my introduction! Really? And uh, even though I'm like covered in mud? Okay, I'm. I'm just. I'm, I'm kind of stunned. Hold on. Let me. I'm gonna take advantage of this while I can. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We could not be more opposite right now. Here's Brittany, all shiny and famous and stuff. Brittany and then there's Aurelia, who is covered in mud <laughs> and all dirty. So, uh, Ugh. But hey, does that mean we actually know go. Brittany now? We do know Brittany. That's pretty oh, neat. George, okay. George. So now we actually have a celebrity friend. Well, not quite a friend so yet. She's an acquaintance, but Promise, still, huh? we know Brittany. We can say we actually have met her. That's nice. So now we need to go, well, not home, because we don't have a shower at home. We need to go somewhere and get ourselves freaking clean. Oh, Ooh, we can perform a musical scene for tips now. I didn't even know that. And that's something I can do on my own, so I'm, another person is not required. All right, Let's see how this goes. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, if this doesn't get me a ton of tips, I don't know what will. Well, uh, the singing could be better. But it's not too bad. It's definitely not that bad. Okay. Wow. Okay. Are we gonna get a bunch of money from that? Ooh, yay! That's awesome. Maybe we can find somewhere that has more people and go do that. Okay, it is time for our next gig. We did do all of our prep tasks. So let's... Ooh. Okay, I really... This is actually a pretty big set. Yeah, so this is like a Victorian sort of thingy. Okay, so let's go ahead real quick. Hair and makeup. Oh, I'm just, I can't even imagine what hair and makeup they're going to put me in for this gig. Oh, it's going to be outrageous. I already know it. <laughs> oh, my. Not quite as outrageous as I thought it would be. I was expecting more like a super poofy wig. But that's actually not too bad. I don't hate it. Not something I would have her wear on a daily basis, of course, but it's not that bad. See, I like this girl's hair and outfit. Why couldn't I get in that? Like, with the nice hat and the... Oh. Like I said, the, the costume we have, it's, it's not bad, but I feel like we got a little jipped. So I also just noticed over here, they actually did unlock this room. It's now unlocked, so I don't know if this is supposed to be like a dressing room or something with a bathroom. That's pretty nice. And then over here, let's see. Oh, yeah, they have the camera on the little track here. There's probably a better word for that. And they actually have decent food over here. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's, it's not fantastic food, but they got grilled chicken. They got steak. They got prosciutto-wrapped asparagus. Ooh. I'm getting myself hungry again. But yeah, so we're actually seeing these upgrades. That's pretty nice. All right, so now we just need to go tell the director we're ready. We're already about halfway out of time. So we gotta hurry. 
Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Uh, friendly introduction. Uh, Come on, let's go. Don't forget about the food. Forget about the food. You don't need it anymore. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, and we are ready. Ooh, I'm excited. Everything's getting so much better. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be like a dressing room sort of thing. I'll assume it's ours since you know we're supposed to be like the star here. Okay. So let's do risky half drink with? Really? Huh. Okay. So I saw a bunch of people in like similar outfits instead of like a lot of people in, you know, the cost the animal costume and then like the space outfits and stuff. So I think we actually have a bunch of different actors here in this production of whatever it is. <laughs> All right, here we go. Fleeb, chamala fish, yab sapola douchishumi, yab sams. Yab sams. Ooh, very uh, nice. Uh, All right. Jeep. Okay, what next? Uh, next, we have yes. to shout. Okay. Ooh, we're getting really tired. Getting really tired, but we got to get through this. Just push through. Come on, girl, you can do it. Right. <laughs> this really seems extra soap opery. Alright, so we have two more, I think. Alright, we have the flirting scene. Is that with her? Ooh, we're gonna be flirting with her! Ooh! I, I don't mind. I don't mind. Nubu! <laughs> okay. Oh, we do have another one. Okay. All right. So now we have the risky hug. I don't know what classifies a hug as risky, but we'll see. I don't know. Maybe this is like some sort of forbidden romance type thing. You get Nevu Ooh. Oh yeah, I remember. If that goes wrong, we end up like hurting our back or something. Because that's one of the things we can do when we perform a romance scene for tips. And it's kind of gone a little awry a couple times. But okay, we just have this one more one more scene. Can we? Oh, we can actually sleep over here on this bed. Maybe we'll take. Maybe we'll take a quick snooze once we're done. No, 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 go away! I'm not talking to you right now. All right. So we've completed the performance. Sweet. All right. So we'll take a quick snooze for a few minutes. I'm gonna have a look around here. Yeah, there's more equipment. There's better lights. All sorts of nice stuff here. Well, I wonder what this room is going to be. Because this is the dressing room. Huh, I wonder what this is going to be. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm definitely very excited to find out, though. All right. Oh, we got... <gasps> oh! Yeah, we have enough money to get the starter house! Oh, I am excited. Should we do that right now? Yeah, I think we'll go move in right now, actually. Okay. Super quick. Oh, we've been promoted to sitcom star. Sweet. Okay, so let's go ahead real quick. Book our next audition. And then, uh... Let's see. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. We can do resi residency of the heart or... Huh. Detective law. Tough authoritarian figure. Needed to play distributor of justice, Detective Law. Detective Law patrols the mean streets of San Machino's northwest corner of the southeast district, distributing fair justice, catching crazy crooks, and finding innovative uses for handcuffs with hot romance. Uh, I think we'll just go with this one, Residency of the Heart, because we already have our charisma skill up to where it's supposed to be. Maybe we'll do this later, but I think... I don't know if we'll be able to get our fitness skill up enough in time. So we'll go ahead and go with this one. Okay. So real quick, I want to... All right, we'll 
pack up this, place an inventory, then we'll place an inventory. This we don't need. And then, okay. All right, so we packed up the microphone and the guitar. And so now we can move household. No, no, yes, I know. I got promoted. I'm busy. I don't want to pay for more freaking dinners. Okay. So, if I remember correctly, we are going to be moving to Oasis Springs. And this little, little, tiny, extra poor house. That is the house we are moving into. <laughs> I know it's it's not going to be very good. In fact, it's going to be pretty terrible. But like I said, at least we have walls and a roof. All right, so we need to get some sleep like now. So let's go ahead and go to sleep. So yeah, as you can see, we don't have a whole lot here. We have a toilet, so that's nice. We have a refrigerator and a counter and a sink. We have a grill outside. We can actually do a little bit of cooking. No, I don't want to go to the Spice Festival. And then out back. Ooh, prime time. No, that was Aurelia time. You are a star, Bubby. Everyone says so. Keep this up. You're on track for a Starlight Accolade nomination. Okay. Oh, my God. Let's sample some of the food at the Spice Festival and see if we can figure out the recipe. I'm so tired. Okay, fine. We'll... We'll go to the Spice Festival. Fine, fine, fine. But you guys saw we had like a shower in the back and then a little washboard and a clothesline so we can actually do some laundry. So yeah, it's definitely a tiny house. Very, very tiny house. But it'll suit our needs for the moment while we save up for a slightly better house. All right, let's see here. I think I read that we can get free food here. And let's see. Ooh, this is nice. All right, so what is this? Order happy hour drink. No, we don't want to get drinks. Ooh, there is free food. Yes, please. Let's see, sample food. Sample food. Sample food. Sample all of the food. Oh, I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. I wasn't really sure what the Spice Festival was. I don't really know what a lot of this stuff is. Ooh, this is on fire. Hmm. Not sure if I want that. Ooh, and there's lots of stuff we can harvest over here. Yes, please. So this is basically like a food festival to get all kinds of free food. This is really, really nice. Ooh, yeah. I like this. I really, really like this. Ooh. Hold on, Aurelia has taken her first steps on her culinary journey through the city. Eating food from the city unlocks the ability to cook it. There are 26 more recipes to learn. Get out and try more food. Hmm. Well, in that case, can I just, like, grab a bunch of food for later? So we can also attempt the spicy curry challenge. I'm not sure how well that's going to go because if Aurelia is anything like me, she's not going to have any sort of spice tolerance whatsoever. But we'll see. We can give it a try if we can do it before we pass out. Ooh! It looks like Aurelia isn't used to eating spicy food like Spice Festival Curry Challenge Plate. With time and practice, you'll be able to eat the spiciest foods around like some kind of spice hound. Failed the spice curry challenge. Try eating more spicy foods. Uh, da, 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 da. The higher your spice tolerance, the better chance you have at winning. Okay, well, that uh, that didn't go so well. Um, well. Let's just go ahead and go home. Oh, come on. You were literally on your way home. And then you passed out. Really? Really? Ugh. So yeah, as I was saying before... We have our little desert shack here. We have a grill to cook. We actually have a fridge, which I put all the food in here. So hopefully it'll last a decent amount of time. And yeah, so we have a sink and a toilet, washboard for laundry and clothesline. We have a shower outside. And then, of course, our guitar and microphone. So only the most basic of basic essentials, I guess. 
It's definitely not a very nice house. But like I said, the quality of the house is not what matters. The fact that we have walls and a roof now, that is definitely good enough for the moment. So I think that is a good place to end this episode here. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.